The gentleman from Michigan is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I would yield myself a minute and a half. The gentleman's recognized. Mr. Speaker, across generations, presidencies are often associated with one famous utterance. Ask not what your country can do for you. The only thing we have to fear, tear down this wall. And our current president will be no different. If you like your health care plan, you can keep it, period. For the last three years, the president repeated this promise in selling his signature law, and he did so with the knowledge that it would not be met. Millions of Americans, including nearly a quarter of a million in Michigan, took the president at its word and now unexpectedly are receiving cancellation notices. They are confused, worried, and upset. Today, we stand with those families with the Keep Your Health Plan Act. This bill is to help provide peace of mind to folks like the farmer in Bangor, Michigan, who just found out after purchasing his family's insurance for the last 30 years that he will be able to keep their plan no more. And the sticker shock will be unbearable as the premiums double and their deductible jumps nearly 3,000 bucks. Sadly, they're not alone. For millions of Americans, it's cancellation today, sticker shock tomorrow. For the last six weeks, the White House stood idly by, ignoring the pleas of millions. But as the administration's allies in Congress panicked, the White House went from attacking our thoughtful bill to making an end around Congress with a universal fix. Our straightforward one-page bill that says, if you like you Gentleman is correct. The House is not in order. Our straightforward one-page bill says, if you like your current coverage, you should be able to keep it. The President should heed his own advice and work with us, the Congress, as the Founders intended, not around the legislative process. Everyone today should embrace the Keep Your Health Plan Act, and our efforts to protect Americans from the damage of this law should not stop there. Let's keep the promise. I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from Michigan reserves the